I've been busy working all night And I'm telling everybody I'ma get it right They know what I'm living like I've been busy going all out And I'm telling everybody I'm gonna get Day 39, 37 remain Who will outwit, outlast, and outplay And be the lone survivor of the 3K No Limit Hold'em Day 39, we're here if I was on Survivor, which is, you know, always day 39 is when they have that last travel, uh, I would know exactly what a beard length looked like because I shaved this on day one. And uh, this is about what we're looking like 39 days in. Have not had a single day off since the start of the World Series of Poker. Uh, you know, there's a couple that are sort of scheduled in. There was probably two, if you're not in another event, but that never happened. I've gone bagging and tagging pretty consistently throughout. I've had like, I don't know how many, I've had very few nights where I didn't bag and tag something. So, uh, so yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get much rest before the main event. The main event, the World Series Poker main event starts today. I gotta find out if Tanya or Richard are playing. I'm not sure, I think one of them is gonna be playing today. Uh, and then I think we're gonna have one each day. Kale is on his way. Good news, he had a, his car broke down, but apparently they got that fixed. So. He should be here on time for the day three start or the day one C start. That's the day I'll be playing day one C. Uh, we'll have to sneak in. Actually, I'll have, well, we're gonna finish hopefully, 37 down to one is gonna be tough to do in one day. So likely we'll have to come back for a day four. I've got 262,000 playing another 30 minutes at six and 12. So that's a, like 22 big blinds or so, which doesn't sound like all that much. You know, it's below the average or whatever, but it just feels like a lot because I'm good, and <laughs> I know what I'm doing with stacks like that in these kind of environments. So, um, yeah. So if if this does go to a day four, that would mean I have like literally zero days off the entire stretch, which uh, hasn't seemed to have destroyed me mentally as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, I've had my stressful moments. You guys have been on the ride where I'm like, I want to rip the cards. That's typically in limit games because they can drive you a little crazy. Um, but overall, I feel like I've kept it together pretty well. I mean, I definitely got irritable about different things and that's just to be expected, you know, putting in as many hours as I have. So overall, I'm pretty happy with my mental state um, and uh, I'm gonna give it my best shot in this 3K No Limit. It's crazy because I didn't really have much high expectation for this one, uh, seeing as I busted the 50K, went and splashed around on the Raz and then just late reg, max late reg to 3K. So didn't have much expectation, but now that we're here, and we've got 22 big blinds, and there's only 37 players left. A couple things to consider. Making the top 27 gets us some extra fantasy points for my 25K fantasy, which, you know, is very, very important in terms of actual money. And then after that, you know, we're, we're like a hop, step, and a jump towards a uh, potential bracelet. So obviously, we're gonna have to chip up. But the great thing about this so far is, I mean, I know this is gonna sound so Phil Helmuthian, but I really have not been all in and called and I started with 50, like 20, 15,000 at four and 800. Like the only time I was all in and called was on the river and I had the nuts, the guy had third pair. <laughs> like literally that's the only time, and which is crazy because you would expect to be all in a lot. I have, I've moved all in a lot, just haven't been called. So um, not necessarily gonna need to just have a double up. Obviously I've been able to move 20 big blinds throughout the whole thing and I, I feel like I can continue to do that. Uh, obviously, if I have to move it in there and get, get in a spot where we're flipping, so be it. But uh, I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible. We're going to small ball it up all the way to victory. So day three, we are in the Miranda room again, which is my favorite room, as I said. And awesomely, my favorite event of the year that I never get to play is the ladies' event happening right back here. See that one over there? That's Lynn Goodmartin right there. She's kicking butt. Are you gonna win? Huh? <laughs> it's always fun. How many, how many ladies played this year? 718. Good luck to all of you. exactly the ideal uh, day today. I um, got through the two hours, played extremely tight, just waiting for the right situation. Let's do a hand breakdown. Uh, 
I get two kings. It's a good hand, seven-handed. The blinds are 8,000, 16,000 with a 2,000 ante. I make it 35,000. Greek guy I've played with for many years or years ago uh, calls in the button and the big blind also calls. So I'm liking the situation. It's a good opportunity to double up. Flop is queen, 10, eight, rainbow. Not ideal, like that's not the kind of flop you really wanna see with kings, but um, my chip stack was pretty much committed for the most part. So first player checks. I decided to bet 45,000, leaving myself with 120. Um, my Greek friend calls on the button, which I do not like, because that looks like it smashes the range of hands that he would call me with pre-flop. Big blind folds. Turn is the nine. Blah. <laughs> I check. He checks it back. And really quickly, by the way. That's going to be notable later. Um, the river's a queen. Tears the queen. So now the board looks about as ugly as you could possibly imagine. And um, so, uh, what do you call it? He, uh, yeah. A lot of stuff going on back here. What's up, boss? Yeah, you were scaring me. Yeah, how you doing? I'm good. How about you? <laughs> I'm good, man. Just doing a hand breakdown. Uh, so yeah, so the river's a queen. I check. He bets a hundred thousand. I've got 120. I decide. I decide to uh, tank for a bit, and then I'm like, I just can't beat anything, right? I don't think he checks back real quick with nine ten, eight nine, ace ten, any of those kinds of hands. I think he checks back really quick with a straight. Frankly, I think he has it. Uh, so I fold and you know he told me later that he had ace jack. Seems believable. Then the same player, he raised under the gun. I only had five big blinds, so I moved in with fives. So he had king queen. Did not win the flip. 30th place, kind of a bummer because 27th gets me an extra 13 points for the fantasy that I'm not gonna get. So all that's left for me now is the main event. Tony has been right now. Pretty cool. Live coverage of the World Series of Poker on ESPN and Poker Go. Look at that. Hmm. Oh. Let me mute that. All right. Day's not over for me. Um, I've got a lot of responsibilities that for the most part get neglected during the World Series of Poker because I don't have schedule. So as soon as time frees up for me, lining up lots of interviews, lots of promotional stuff for, well, for maybe for Poker Go, for ESPN, for Poker Stars, Poker Central, Poker Poker, Poker Poker Poker. So I got line, interviews lined up today and then um, a couple meetings here and there. The good news is I'll have some time tonight to relax. We're definitely going to have to watch Creed, you know, the continuation. Can't wait to see, like, the next Creeds because that's going to be a whole new thing, right? So, um, just basically going to spend some time in the trailer waiting for the people. I just bring them here, you know? Instead of, like, having to go people, I'm like, you want to do an interview? Come on, come on. I'll play the, the prima donna thing. But it's a nice trailer, so come on, come on down. I don't want to run around like crazy. Um... So that's the plan for now. I'm just going to watch some of the poker here, and I've already seen some, for lack of a better term, goofy-ass shit. <laughs> if you're not watching, take a look at ESPN and Poker Go. Remember, guys, Poker Go, if you want the annual subscription, right, you want to go to PokerGo.com slash refer slash Daniel, use the promo code Daniel, and you'll get 10 bucks off your annual subscription. There is a ton of stuff coming, right? I know there was a lot of talk about not having all the events streamed for the World Series of Poker, but that this is the first year, right? So we cut them a little bit of slack, and they're building towards something that could be really, really cool. Uh, just re re announced that Poker After Dark is coming back, you know, a show everybody loved. Start filming those in August for Poker Go. So it's going to be a lot of value in getting that package. So yeah, I'm going to chill here, listen to Maria and David Williams try to be nice when they break down hands. Yeah, so that was a um, interesting way to play the hand. And David were like, well, you know, a little unorthodox. Um, <laughs> it's so funny because really what they want to say is like, that was dog shit. Like, why is the guy calling here? This is so bad. Terrible, you know. But you have to be nice on ESPN.
interviews done. I feel like a train just hit me. I'm so freaking tired, yo. Uh, did a couple interviews, like I said. I'm going to work on um, getting up early tomorrow because it's gonna be the earliest I've been up. The event starts at 11 a.m. They changed it from noon. I thought it was noon last year, but maybe I'm wrong. Day two is noon, I don't know. So that means I'm gonna have to get up at around nine. So tomorrow, the plan is to meet with Christian at the gym at 11, play soccer tomorrow night, get a lot of edge in. Today, that couch that I just passed, that's where I'm gonna be. Just beat down, I'm gonna change out of this, get into some like, get into my tidy whities and uh, play some Hearthstone and chillax. This is gonna be a short one today because I'm done, but oh man, I got the World Series of Poker playing up in my bedroom. Hey, crazy. Yeah, watch a little bit of that as well. And uh, also, maybe they'll feature Richard on there because Richard's playing today. So, uh, hopefully he's doing good. And what else do I gotta tell y'all? That's about it, man. Quite a series. My tank is at low, but I will be fresh and ready to go after a nice day off, well needed. So, see y'all and go Richard. My name is Rich Dixon, I'm from Cheyenne, Wyoming. I originally became passionate about poker just as a little kid because my, my dad taught me and he, uh, you know, he played and it was important to him. Um, I was also uh, big into uh, martial arts and combat sports. I started boxing when I was five as well. And uh, I'm just too old to be competitive in that arena anymore. So it seemed like the natural alternative. And that's when I started concentrating on multi-table poker tournaments about three years ago when I blew out my ACL and uh, I fractured my C5, C6 on my neck. And so at you know, downtime, <laughs> concentrate on other things. This is Jace Carter Dixon. Um, he was born actually two months early, and, uh, and he really did fine for being so small and so premature, but um, he contracted spinal meningitis in the hospital, and so they like flighted in the Denver Children's Hospital, where his mom and I spent a month and a half basically living in the NICU unit with him for his first month and a half. Um, so he has a brother and a sister, uh, my, my two other kids. Um, his brother Cody, his name's Dakota, we call him Cody, is 13 turning 14, um, three days after Daniel's birthday, ironically. And um, he's starting high school. And then he has a sister that just graduated high school a year early. She's only a junior, but she graduated a year early and she's going to college. So he's starting kindergarten, brother's starting high school, sister's starting college all at the same time. My intention is to final table the main event. And, um, I, when I'm playing tournaments, I just take one table at a time and I don't think about the feel, I don't think about average stacks as much as just play my table. Um, but this, this one is just, it feels different. I, mean, I already feel like I've gotten extremely lucky, which is kind of an unusual thing for me. I don't normally get lucky ever. <laughs> and so uh, this is the first thing I've ever won like this and ever. So. Uh, I figure a one in a thousand chance with 3,000 radios that I'm already feeling pretty lucky and uh, I just really think it's kind of meant to be. table and so lighting's good everything's good the people are all really nice at the table it's going well it's a slow start I've uh, already lost about half my stack with a couple of coolers and the hand I misplayed I probably should have bet it's played a little too slow so I got caught up on but everything's going good How you doing, buddy? What? What are you at dinner break? I 
Yep, we're on dinner break, and uh, I'm doing great, feeling really good. I, I was playing a little bit too too tight, and uh, I, I probably should have opened it up a little bit, but the, just a little bit above starting stack with like 51.5, and uh, opened it up and loosened up quite a bit, and uh, actually um, doing great, doing really good. Successful in the day one. Uh, we found a bag. It was a it was a great day. It was a lot of fun. Um, probably the highlight of the day is when Kale stopped by. Uh, his father and uh, his family came by, and he said hi and wished me luck. And we got to talk about a hand and talk about his road trip out here. And it was pretty exciting. Very nice guy. Um, I'm anxious to have him play in a couple days, and so I can come sweat him as well. We uh, were able to find a bag. Um, bagged uh, 108,000. 400. Um, my son had pegged the number at 107, so he's pretty good on the over-under. Uh, I was thinking more in the 70s was my intention, but uh, he was right in there with the 107. So uh, it was a really good last level. I got short early. Um, it was pretty rough. I had some, some coolers I had to fade um, and was down below starting stack around about half starting stack, actually below 20,000. I uh, was able to build it back up to the starting stack by dinner break and then uh, and then close out strong. Had a really good table, some really good players, uh, all very nice people. It was, uh, it was really a lot of fun, really entertaining and very uh, relaxed considering that this is the main event and, and uh, we were all there for the competition. But um, very, very fun day. Uh, everything went really well and uh, we're looking forward to day two. And looking forward to uh, Tanya and Kale doing well and getting able to sweat them as well. So, uh, Daniel, uh, this is all because of you. We're living the dream. Thank you again. <laughs> 